Hi today I am going to be speaking about Schwinn tricycles and bikes. The Schwinn Bicycle Company was founded by German-born mechanical engineer Ignaz Schwinn in Chicago in 1895. It became the predominant maker of American bikes through the majority of the 20th century and today it is owned by the multinational conglomerate, Darl Industries. Ignaz Schwinn was born in Hartheim, Baden. Germany in 1860 and worked on two-wheeled ancestors of the modern bicycle that first appeared in 19th century Europe. Schwinn emigrated to America in 1891, where he discovered similar issues as obstructed him in Germany. In 1895, with the financial backing of fellow German-American Adolf Frederick William Arnold, a meat packer, he founded the Arnold, Schwinn & Company. Schwinn's new business coincided with a surprising bike craze in the USA. Chicago became the center of the American bicycle industry, with 30 factories turning out thousands of bikes every day. Bike production within America increased to more than a million units annually by the turn of the 20th century. Through the 60s, Schwinn vigorously campaigned to enlarge and keep its lead of the little one cycle markets. The business advertised heavily on television, and was an earlier sponsor of the youngsters' TV program, Captain Kangaroo. The captain was enlisted to often talk about the Schwinn brand of cycles to the show's viewers, who were usually six years of age and under. As it had been considered that they might request a Schwinn tricycle for kids from their parents. By the 70s, the U.S. government had objected to Schwinn's marketing techniques. In response, Schwinn had Captain Kangaroo transform its format. The captain no more insisted that his audience purchase a Schwinn, but rather made routine on-air references to the brand new character, the Mr. Schwinn dealer. In 1963 Schwinn's engineer Alfreds learned about a brand new craze concentrated in California which comprised of retro-fitting cycles with the attributes of motorcycles and personalized resulting in a bobber or chopper design, which integrated the high-rise, ape hanger handlebars and low-rider banana seat. Stimulated, he developed a bike for the youth market. The end result, a bike was released to the general public as the Schwinn Stingray in June of 1963. It had a banana seat, ape hanger hand L bars, and 20-inch tires. Nowadays Schwinn seems not to hold the popularity they had way back in the day, yet they again are beginning to produce a wonderful product. Many great businesses go through times of decline and advance but the mature ones that have great customs constantly bounce straight back. Such could be the case with the Schwinn Company. Their brand acceptance virtually always carries them through the tough times. Therefore from your earliest ride without training wheels to maybe a summer ride at the park along with your buddies, the delight of riding a bicycle never gets old. Lots of our fondest recollections are linked with on bicycles rooted in joy and carefree pleasure experiences we have had. It will not simply take long for the smiles and laughs to return, even though you truly haven't hopped on a bicycle in a long while, at Schwinn, they make trikes for youngsters that permit little riders of all ages and skills to have the happiness of riding. From rock and roll children's bicycles to the lavish Latour legacy, they give a complete line of bicycles and tricycles for children that satisfy the requirements of riders all over the United States of America and also across the entire world. Their tricycles for kids are constructed to the Schwinn quality standard, which has more than 100 years of cycling passion, tradition and expertise. This standard is truly the basis of their obligation to creating the greatest bikes and tricycles, which is today available and they are certain that everyone will experience their dedication to cycling each time they ride a tricycle or a bike from Schwinn. Take pleasure in the ride, as the saying goes at Schwinn.